Hello, I am Wonder Double One, and this is my review of Philo TV. It is a internet provided TV service, very much like Direct TV Now, YouTube TV, Sling, and the like. I have a playlist over there in the corner if you're interested in seeing the others that I have done. Now, Philo, I'm going to start off with saying, is one of the cheapest options that you can get for this area. Now, I will also say, by the time you are seeing this, uh, the pricing model will have changed slightly for Philo. And that is that they are getting rid of their $16 45 channel option. They will only have a $20 58 channel option. Now that's a problem that a lot of these services are running into now. The prices are coming up because well, they're starting to offer more and more channels. And when you offer more channels, just like cable TV, you have to pay for them. So prices of these things are going up, but Philo still remains one of the cheapest options out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up, let you see the load time and see what the main screen looks like when we get in there. So when you first log into Philo TV, you will be greeted with this profile page. Now, if you only have one profile, you won't be greeted with this. But if you have several profiles, you can select one and move on. Now, the account creation process for Philo was a little different. So what happens is you go to their site, you put in your email address or phone number, and you will then be sent or emailed a activation code. There is no password for Philo. If you want to reset your activation code or open Philo in a new area, you just plug in your email or phone number and they send you a code which you then use to activate things. It's a little different and it did make adding the Roku simpler uh, than some of the other options out there. But that would, that's, that's just it. They also offer a free seven day trial of Philo. Uh, first two days are free free. And then after that, you have to input a credit card in order to get the remainder of the trial. But as you can see, we can scroll across to the different profiles. You can come over here. This will allow you to add a new profile if you wanted to. But I've got several already. So we're just going to jump into my main profile here. And when you first log into Philo, this is actually where things start getting interesting because this is where the content is. So at the very top here, you will see there are two options. This is the keep watching. So these are two different shows that I have started watching and it throws them up at the top here. You will notice that this one says new and DVR in the corner. And this one is just something I had been watching. You can see the little play button there with a colored circle that indicates how much of this particular show is left to watch. Now, pressing and holding your OK button will bring up an extra contextual menu so that you can see play, save, all episodes and more from this channel. I'll get into that a little later. Clicking right on your Roku remote will bring you to the next item that was next to it. Now, I'm going to hit back to bring us back here. Coming down, these are saved items. So these are favorites. Favorites are how you can access video on demand content and your DVR for these particular shows at a faster glance. Again, pressing and holding the OK button will bring you into this area with more descriptive information. We can unsave and then we could see all episodes from here. Coming down, we have trending. So this is trending live. We can scroll over, see what's going on. Again, if we press and hold OK, it will bring up a larger picture of it and this Option over here will remain the same. You can see it actually starts playing it a little bit. So we're actually getting a lot, little bit of that in the background. If I select all episodes, it will show me all the episodes. Now, this is something that I don't particularly care for. The, the style of this, it's very film strip. It's kind of difficult to navigate through. You can also see on each show, it mixes in live TV, but this won't air until May 8th. It is currently not May 8th. And this particular episode over here is a video on demand. So it throws all of that together. So some of these you can't actually play right now because it's not live. You would be able to come up here to the seasons and select which season you would like to go through to try and make it a little easier. But again, because of the way that this is laid out, you will have live TV, TV that's happening in the future, VODs and any DVR content all saved in this location. So it makes it a little tricky going through that. Coming down, top shows on Philo. Again, we could just scroll through that. Down one more time, new and upcoming. Now, pressing down on the Roku remote does not bring me back up to the top. 
You have to scroll all the way back up. You cannot press the back button because if you do, you get this trying to get you to leave Philo. Pressing up though, will bring you to another menu page. So right now we're on home, but if we go to guide, and that's something that's really nice about Philo, it has a pretty decent guide. Over here on the side, you can see, these are my favorite channels. They're indicated with these little hearts. Uh, the guide is alphabetical, but because these are my favorites, they show up at the top. And then you just scroll down through your, uh, channel guide. Like I said before, this little icon here indicates how far you are into a show and you could play from there. Now the guide will go forward about three hours, give or take, depending on the show you are watching. Now I do realize that I've been talking about a lot of stuff and haven't really showed you what it looks like. Now I'm just trying to find something that hopefully won't get me in too much trouble. Uh, okay, so here's a family thing. We'll just press play. You can see how long it takes to jump in. I have it currently muted, but you can see the quality of the stream. It's very good. Now, this does have a DVR, so we can play pause. Now, there are problems with the live TV DVR with the play pause. Most of the time, you can rewind a little bit uh, depending on how far into the show you are, but you can see here, it's giving me only one option by trying to rewind. I can start this show from the beginning, or I can catch up to live TV. So you can see it's progressing here, but I've run into errors a lot of times where I try and start it at a certain location and it pops me to the beginning of the, or to the live portion of the episode. So this particular area is a little hit or miss for me, but you can see the quality of video that you're getting is really good. We're gonna go back to the channel guide one more time, because I'm gonna bring you over to the left-hand menu here. So if you don't happen to have one of these channels favorited, you just come over to the side menu here, long press and hold, and that will add that channel to your favorites. Likewise, if we come over to the left-hand side and just click OK quickly, it will bring us to that particular channel's overall offerings. So, currently you could see on Discovery, it is playing Gold Rush. So, if we select down, it will show us a whole bunch of Gold Rush because that's the current show that's on. Coming down one more time, top shows from this channel and top movies if this channel supports movies of any kind. Pressing back on the Roku remote brings us back to the channel guide. Again, just like the other guides and a lot of these other services, you cannot scroll down to the bottom and then be brought back up to the top. You do have to either scroll slowly or press the back button on your Roku remote to bring you back. Now, we're gonna pop into this show really quick because this will give you a good mix of VODs and DVR because I have been watching this and this is where I started noticing some of the weirdness. So here, you can see this particular episode aired on 417, and the circle is all the way around. I have watched this. This one over here says, says it's new. It's on the DVR, and we watched it. Now, when it's dvr you can fast forward through commercials. Video on demand content does require you to sit through ad blocks, but they're not the actual ad blocks of the channel that you might be watching, it's Philo's ad blocks. So here you can see this particular episode hasn't aired yet. It's supposed to air on 5.7. And just like this one, 5.3. So if I come up to seasons and go to season five, uh, there should be a mix in here. So these are all set to air, but I'm, I'm, I'm having to go in reverse because these notice 5.8 is season five, episode three. This one on 5.3 is season five, episode five. So they're not chronological in, in certain areas. And I really wish that they'd do a better job kind of cleaning this part up. It's just, it's not the best menu system in my opinion for that. But if we come back up to the top, we were looking at the guide. Now let's check out top. Well, top is exactly that. For the channels that Philo offers, it will show you the top shows that are offered for that particular channel in this graphical grid-like format. 
saved. So if you wanted and had a lot that wouldn't fit on your homepage, these are where your favorites are. Now, just keep in mind that you do have to favorite a show. So again, you can search for it, which we're gonna get to in a minute, or we can come over here to the guide and we'll hypothetically say, press and hold okay for South Park. And then we come and we select save, which will add it to our favorites. And we come over to saved and there we go. Now we have South Park added to our favorites. And the camera's having a little trouble focusing, so hopefully that came in. Next, we have search. Now, normally I search for like Bob, Bob's Burgers or the like. So if I do that, it will bring up things that have Bob in the title because this Philo does not have Fox TV. So search isn't bad. It will search through all the channels it has, and that includes movies and television shows. You can use your Roku remote on your Android or iOS device, if you have the app, to run a search, which is really nice. Now, this is the limitations of Philo. A lot of the settings you have to do through the website. All this will do is allow you to edit your mobile number, your email, or switch profiles, or change the picture. A lot of sensitive information there, so I'm not gonna show you that. Now, jumping back to our saved people and checking out this. So this particular item here is on the DVR. Now, there is no limitation to Philo's DVR. Anything that is recorded on the DVR will remain there for 30 days, and then it will be removed from the DVR. So you can't quite build up the back catalog of this particular show by using the DVR function. It will do multiple shows at once and is not limited to any particular channel, but after 30 days, it will be removed from your DVR video on demand area. Coming back to our guide, one of the main things that a lot of people note with Philo is there are no local channels. You'll notice that there was no 11, 5, 2. You don't get that with this type of package. You can have three, three simultaneous streams at once and you do have those profiles. So it does kind of help keep the kids stuff in one location or, you know, in my case, my wife's stuff in one and then what I'm watching in another. So really it's, it's a means of slimming down a cable package. You could use this in correlation with some of those other services that I mentioned before and kind of get the bottom tier package on that and then use this to subsidize some of the channels. Now I'm just starting another show so you can kind of see it. This is ghost story. If we press down on the Roku remote, it will bring us into this, which will show us a little bit of information. Pressing down one more time, captions, show info, more on this channel. Back, I'm going to press up on the Roku remote and it brings us into the guide for this particular, while watching this particular show. So there's no jumping from channel to channel like you would with regular TV with Philo, but it's a small trade-off. So realistically, if you're somebody who has a small set of channels that you really watch and they're one that Philo has, you don't necessarily need one of those other internet provided TV services that are more expensive and have more channels if you can get away with just this and, and they're skinny bundle, think of it that way. Uh, for myself, there's only really a few shows that I watch. I don't watch live TV and the few shows that I watch and can't get on Netflix or Hulu, I can't really justify myself paying $20 a month for me and my particular usages. Uh, for you, this, this could be a very good option if you're one, just looking to dip your toe into cord cutting and wanna see what it's like, then Philo TV may be something that you, uh, would find very useful. So I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.